Hey friends, Zen Cooney here. Time for a little isometric isotonic with the Bullworker Iso Flow. So let's knock it out here. Start off with some curls. What we're going to do first is the actual just the flow, then we'll do isometric. My first set, just do moderate pressure, moderate speed. And then we're going to stop, we're going to stop right at that 90 degree angle there, and we'll do our isometric. You can hold as long as you like. Today I'm going to hold for about 10 12 seconds. Good firm contraction, pushing the earth away, tighten the glutes, tighten the abdominals, and shake it up. Okay, we're going to do it again. We're going to go a little bit slower, a little bit harder. Okay, so that was 12 reps. We're gonna go ahead and bring it part way down and then isometrically contract again. And shift, isometric contraction again. Shake it out. And then hard and slow. Keep the breathing going. And then down to middle position and pull. Contract, press the earth away, tighten the glutes, tighten the abs. Now pull the shoulders back. Still contracting and release, let it go. A few shoulder rolls. So we're off to a good beginning. With our grips the same way, we're going to bring a little deltoid activity into play here. So we're gonna start with our arms, not only to the side, but pull them back so that they're well back. In other words, I don't wanna be out here for this particular version. I wanna be farther back, a little past what's called the participation midline, like where your seam is. Bring it back past that. And here we go. Again, just moderate. Fair amount of pressure against the carabiner. And then lighten it up, go a little faster. And then slow it down and go heavier. Keep your breathing going, keep pushing the earth away, glutes tight, abdominals tight, chest lifted, spine long, and hold it here, contract, and release, 
other side, same thing. So I'm actually pulling on both, good firm isometric contraction. And release, shake it out. And roll the shoulders. We're going to do shoulder lift. And then bring it down to lowest position and isometric contraction. Usually when I'm doing my ISO flow, I take a moment for some sort of shoulder rotation in between each move. Also, don't hesitate if you're starting to feel any kind of tension in the neck, do a few neck moves. One of the most underlooked areas in the body for conditioning is the neck. All right, so we're going to come back to our deltoid lift, and what we're going to do is come up higher, pull the arms well back, put the wrists in a little bit of flexion, so out of neutral into a little flexion, and then contract. release other side and contract make sure your wrist are in flexion you can actually take them deeper into flexion as you're holding and release shake it out so we're ready for some pressing so here we're just going part way up. We're doing it slower, putting a lot of pressure against the carabiner. Notice I've got the straps behind my arms. So I'm pushing back a little bit as well as pushing up. And shake that out. So fists facing each other. Don't let them go into extension, keep them either neutral or in a little bit of flexion. And here we go for a press. Bring it part way down and press both hands. Isometric contraction. And release, shake it out a little bit. Opposite side. And press both hands. And release. Shake it out.
Next up, we'll do a little work for the rotator cuff. Starting here, focus on pulling the arms back, back. Let's do a little lighter, faster. And release. You know what we're going to do? Bring it into the back position and isometrically contract. Make sure you're using your lower body as well, glutes, got your abs engaged, pushing the earth away. And release. And pull it back. Now don't let your wrist go into flex into extension. Keep it neutral or even in a little bit of flexion and release. Let's get all right. For the triceps, let's begin. And then let's go a little faster. And then go ahead and pull isometrically, holding. Keep your breathing going. Should be no tension in the face or the neck. And then shift, continue. Tighten the glutes, tighten the abs. Push the earth away. And release. All right, so we're going to shift over to our iso bow. What we're going to do is put this iso bow underneath one foot. Now, you've, so you've got it underneath that one foot. What we're going to do is reach down, squat back a little bit, got a hip hinge going on, and we're going to try and pull that strap up. So it's going to be an uh, uh, isometric contraction. Get ready, sit down, get a good grip. So you want to be in neutral grip and pull. And relax. Shift it over to the other foot. Sit back, push the earth away, get your rotation and pull. And release. So we're going to pull down. So we're going to do some dynamic tension here. So we're contracting. All the way to elbow lock. Elbows out to the side. Keeping your tension on the straps. Now this time when you come down, we're going to pull it down the one side, push out, bring it across, continue pulling, trying to pull those straps all the way apart, back up, and continuing to pull as you come all the way down. And release. Let's do something for legs. Get that posterior chain activated a little bit and also get a little bit of balance going on for the other opposite leg. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our bow, put it underneath the knee or the back of the thigh, right by the knee. 
stand up nice and straight, push the earth away with the standing leg, and try and straighten the leg down while resisting with your arms. Four, one thousand five, thousand six, thousand seven, thousand eight, thousand nine, thousand ten, thousand eleven, one thousand twelve, and release. I felt that that's a good overall body connection. You got some balance, coordination. It's applying pressure with many different muscles at the same time while balanced on one leg. It's a great move. So just bring your bow under, opposite side, leg up. Make sure you got a good hold and push the earth away with the standing leg. Push the opposite leg down towards the earth while pulling up with the arms. 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012. Good move. One of the things I want you to realize is that as you're doing your primal nature play, whether you're using uh, isometrics, isotonics, if you're using clubs or kettlebells, maces or staffs or double ball staffs or ropes or medicine balls, whatever you're using, always listen to your body. Pay attention to your vitality level. If you're at a eight, nine, 10 best you've ever felt in your life, then naturally you're gonna put more into your play. If you're down at a five or a six, you wanna make it an active recovery day. So if you're gonna go moderate to heavy, you wanna be at least at a level seven of present vitality or higher. Remember, you're the guru, so take care of yourself. Next move. We're going to start with our shoulders up, actively draw shoulder blades down. Then bring the hands so the palms are facing away from the center of the body. And we're going to do an isometric contraction here first. 1002. 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1012. And then straighten it all the way up, reverse. So my, my palms are now facing each other. And what we're gonna do are circles. Now, as we're doing these circles, I'm also trying to pull the straps apart. Lift your shoulders up higher, so they're way up by the ears. And reverse it. Then change to your grip, so it's now facing forward. And we're gonna go side to side. Again, we're keeping lots of pressure against the strap to Try and pull it apart. So we're doing a dynamic tension. And release. Shake it out. Next, we're going to put our bow behind us. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can see this. I'm also going to put my foot up on the rock. I'm going to do a little bit of a lunge. So I've got some stretching going on at the same time that I've got the arms going up in the back. So our lower body's getting work and upper body. Now what I'm going to do is isometrically try and pull the straps apart. At the same time, I'm going to use a dynamic tension to actually try and push myself away with one leg from the rock while holding myself with the other leg. So this is gonna be, again, a compound contraction. So there's gonna be multiple muscles getting activated here. So, get our position. Get your arms up as high as they go. If it's down here, that's okay, whatever you can do. And pull and push with the leg. 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 
1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1012. Release. Shake it out a little bit. Do a little figure eight with the hips. Reverse it. Let's do the other side. So the legs are going to be working a little differently. The arms are going to be roughly the same. So what do we do? Just put them at a different level. So one leg up. Find good footing. Sink down. So I was up before, I'm going to come down lower and let's contract everything. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012. And shake it out. All right. We're gonna do a little active movement here. So active movement, that's a little redundant, isn't it? So what I'm talking about is we're gonna go up, arch back and sweep through. And turn the arms inside out here and resist as they come down. Good, all right. So here's our next move. Let's reach it out to the side. This is actually our next contraction. So it's just like pulling a bow, got both arms straight, keep the wrists in neutral and pull. So I'm pulling with the one arm, pushing with the other. Three, thousand four, thousand five, thousand six, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1012. Other side, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1012. Right overhead. So, couple of clues for this one. Put the elbows back, bring the arms back so you're far behind your head as possible. Then get a good grip, make sure you're neutral or even slightly flexed, and pull it apart. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, push the earth away. 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012 and release. We're going to come back to the strap underneath the leg again, stand on one leg, because it's a potent move and I'm only showing you once, but you can actually do this multiple times. So we're pushing the earth away. And release. Opposite side now. In my regular play out, what I would be doing is doing these moves that I've been showing you, two or three sets. And here we press. Seven, thousand eight, thousand nine, thousand ten, thousand eleven, one thousand twelve. All right. Final move I'm gonna do with the bow is right here in the center of the chest. I'm going to inhale, elbows are pointing out to the side as I'm exhaling. 
really starting to build that pressure then continue breathing as I continue to increase as much pressure as I can make it as contracted throughout my entire body all the way down to my toes glutes abs thighs hamstrings and release so there you have it using your iso flow your iso bow get yourself out some beautiful spot if you haven't got a beautiful spot get outside into the best spot you can find if you don't have a spot we can get outside as you can see doesn't take much space so how about the one where I put my foot up on the rock if you're inside put your foot up on a chair get the same kind of impact whatever you have that's what you use to do whatever you want to do you're the guru do it your way